All right, on this episode of what we didn't get done today. <laughs> you. Would you climb in that ladder? <laughs> well, so far I got the rivets out. What kind of critter is that crawling on there? Probably a gnat. All right, well, when I pulled them out, it made the metal, like, uneven. This is fine here. This is just from when it got ripped out in the first place. I put a test rivet in here, and then I drilled it out to see if it would, uh, if it would hold. That one looks a little oblong. I just realized like there's a there's a lip there well this piece of metal fits into that also it's off-centered so I got my work cut out for me a little bit still even though I got all the rivets out I don't know they're on the ground here somewhere So, I'm thinking maybe if I draw it in and then take like a small hammer or whatever and tap the aluminum so it's flat and even. That's a better plan. Look at this metal's not even, ooh, it's kind of sharp there. Metal's not even cut perfectly even. Maybe there's a reason for that. that I want to get a heat gun and peel these stickers off and take that paint off of there a bunch of minor things like that but uh, yeah <clears throat> I'm on the fence about selling it I think the more work I put into it the more I want to go and get rid of it the more I just want to fix it up and uh, yeah unload on this episode of things I didn't do today <laughs> I was just going to leave it in the car here but the king up to his old tricks, right? Time to sell off some stuff. Trucks and cars. One at a time. There are a lot of these. They're always being thrown away. Must be a serious uh, fail point on cars. That and uh, fuel injection systems. Wowzers. throwing that up there actually I want to empty that out force to have it I wish I had a whole lot of uh, auto shop connections because auto scrap is like the best you know like suspension parts and stuff
A lot of tie rod ends too. That's a common fail point on cars. Then since the invention of these sealed bearings, they're horrible. Well, there's somebody else besides me in the world. Look at that. Blue steel. Uh, where do I want to put this? I'll put it in there. Smalls. There's a fail point on cars. Rather than replace the bushings, just the whole part. Time and labor, son. Right? These are like a dollar something a pound right now. Wire harnesses. <laughs> oh, God. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, a gas pedal. Of course, the arm has to be made out of plastic, right? But then the throttle position sensor is right here. <laughs> How expensive is something like this? Got to be at least 150 if not more. So... My, my daughter's friends, one from uh, L.A., another one, L.A. area, another one from New York City. They're going home today. So the wife is uh, taking, taking the kid that lives in New York. She's going home by train. And the one from LA is going home by plane. It was a beautiful day out, and the kid from New York City wanted to wanted to stay inside all day and, and play Roblox. I mean, I kind of get it. Uh, she's not really from a safe area in New York, and, you know, she's black, so, you know, there might be, like, if you go outside, and you're a minority, and you live in a, in kind of a crummy area, the gangs will recruit you, and if, if you don't go along with it, they might harm you, most likely they will. So, you pretty much have to settle in life to be raised like veal, kind of. <laughs> Never really going outside except to, to uh, you know, be picked up by car to go somewhere. Oh, kind of sucks. Well, that's the same thing in Chicago, I mean. My brother's kids, they're now very well grown. They're in their thirties, but. He married a divorced lady. Yeah. She's Hispanic 
and uh, they kind of lived in a rough area. The kids could not go outside. Nope. You went outside, you went into the garage, in the car, and you left the area. It's an entirely different mindset. the way I grew up. But that's what you gotta do to be safe. You know, if you want your kid to make it to through high school, <laughs> it's not funny. I mean, I'm not laughing, laughing. I'm just laughing at the the horrific the horrificness of the situation. Wow, that really adds up. That's quite a bit of weight, actually. Oh, street lights around. It's nice out though, still. Yep, so that little adventure is over. Internet friends. <laughs> they had fun. I'm going to dream about fixing this. I'm almost like maybe I need to get like a jack. Like lift this up. Maybe it's like sunk down. It's ripped up there a little bit. I'm not going to do anything with that, I don't think. I think I'll leave that alone. I'll be happy enough to get this squared away because it's been like this since I owned this vehicle. And as much as I want it, I I want to sell it now. Maybe I'll grind this area and bond it and paint it. Kind of touch this up right here. Oh, that's the paint peel, I guess. those numbers off hard to estimate how much time would be involved look at that tire getting kind of low put my knee up to it yeah, I guess it might be okay so Things that I didn't get done today. <laughs> well, I got that about 15 feet closer to the door. And I got this truck over here. I think I get rid of that big pile of crap right there and then wheel this forward. All the way up to the up to the wall. Boy, by the time Bob from Gill Skills comes here, there won't be nothing. <laughs> this place should be sufficiently emptied out. So. People are telling me on uh, my YouTube channel that he's like, bro, there's like four or five pounds copper inside there. Don't give it to the scrapyard. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll pull it off to the side and let it sit there for a while. I don't know. Maybe I'll... Uh, right now I got bigger fish to fry. Let's put it that way. Fish fry. I got bigger fish to fry than cut open a something like that. I think I'll put this air pump in front. You know what I mean? I got I got my daughter's bedroom to paint. I got I got car, you know, now that it's nice out, 
Oh, it was plugged in. I didn't know that. Oh, so was some air in there. I dragged it all the way along there. I didn't know it was plugged in. I've got my daughter's room to paint. I still got to find her a car. She doesn't want to drive in any crap I got. I got scrap to do. Cleaning around the house. I, I, I got a lot of catching up to do. You know, winter sets you back. Or at least it does to me, like in the area I live in. I don't know. Another boring video. <laughs> Things I didn't get done today. By Scrap Kingdom.